This is the Pi EC, a Pi board compatible development system aimed primarily at e-bikes and electric motorcycles. It's a set of boards or layers that provide the building blocks to control your bike hardware through Python. There are inputs for switches, analog signals, outputs for high current and low current devices like lights, horns, alarms and cameras, as well as serial, I to C, and CAN connections to talk with other peripherals like battery management systems and displays uh, and even an integrated IMU. On the bench here I have my test setup. I have a power supply to provide 12 volts to the main uh, Pi EC, a NextGen or TJC display to use as a dashboard for my bike. The spe second smaller Pi EC is playing back a log file recorded on a previous trip. Let's take a closer look at the display. All right, here we've got the, the HMI or display for, for my bike. And I've written, I've made up a, a few different screens. This first one here is a password screen. You could use this if you forgot your key or if you didn't want to use a key. When you enter the password, the bike would start. So we'll enter the password, one, 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 one. And we'll be able to change that uh, password in one of the settings. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the main display screen. We've got a battery indicator, voltage indicator, phase current, motor temp, cell average voltage, speed, headlight indicator, log, GPS, and error LEDs. From here, you can go to the menu, and you can set the date and time. Uh, you can set the year, or month or day and time, save that. Also in the menu, we can set the password. You first enter the current password, one, 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 and then you can modify that and we could make that uh, one, two, three, four. Now next time we go to the password screen, we'll just lock the bike. We enter one, two, three, four. All right, so the next screen graphs our voltage, phase current, temperature, and speed. Later, in a future version of the software, I'll add the ability so I can choose to uh, graph any of the IMU channels or um, any of the other data that we're collecting. Um, now, it doesn't, the graph doesn't change when you're on a different screen. It only updates when you're on this screen. This is uh, date and time, and at the bottom, you can still see the battery voltage, current, motor temp, and speed. The last screen is just a basic timer. Uh, sometimes it's fun to know how long it took you to get somewhere. And that's, uh, that's the basic HMI. So in the next video, we'll go over each layer in detail and talk about how they work. Thanks for watching.